so guys in this video i'm gonna tell you how you can use an ass or network attached storage with your mi home security camera this method should work with all xiaomi home security cameras and this method might also work with home security cameras from other companies so i have done this tutorial with my windows 10 laptop but if you are using any other version of windows the steps will be more or less similar but if you are using any other os the basic concept will be the same you just have to find the alternative settings if you like this video you know what to do hit that like button it will definitely boost my motivation and if you are not subscribed yet hit that red subscribe button down there to subscribe to take it easy also hit the bell to get notified for the future videos now let's begin hello everybody this is Arijit. let's take it easy So you will need to create a directory or a folder where you want your footages to be saved. So let's create a directory here. So this is our directory and all the video footages from the camera from the security camera will be saved here. We need to share this directory or the folder and make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network in which the camera is connected. Otherwise this feature will not work. Anyways, while sharing the folder, make sure you enable all the permissions. In my case, I am using a laptop just to show the demo, but ideally you should use a desktop, a low powered desktop maybe, which is running 24 seven so that the camera can save the footages. You can also connect a portable USB hard drive or a pen drive to the USB port of your router. If you have a router that has USB port, a Raspberry Pi with USB storage will also work. Whatever computer you are using, it needs to be connected to the same network or to the same router. Even if the computer is not running 24-7, whenever it comes online, the Mi Home security camera will sync all the footages which are recorded in the micro SD card. So it doesn't need to be running all the time, but it would be better if you have a computer or NAS that runs 24-7. If you use your PC with a Microsoft account, like me, you need to create a local account, a local administrator user account with a password of course. Then from turn windows features on and off, make sure SMB 1.0 CIFS file sharing support is turned on. Without this, the Mi Home security camera will not be able to save any footages, any videos to your shared folder. Then after clicking OK, it will save the settings and it will ask you to restart the computer. Click on restart now and all the setups from the computer side has been done. This is an additional step. If the rest of the tutorial doesn't work for you, you need to perform this step. Make sure network discovery is turned on. Go to network status, then sharing options then turn on network discovery for all the network profiles private then guest or public then all networks and make sure password protected sharing is turned on under all networks now it's time for the phone open the camera viewer from the shortcut or from the mi home app then open the settings menu then click on manage storage Click on NAS network storage, then it should show the name of the computer where you have added the shared storage, which is on the same network with the camera. Now click on it and on the next screen, you have to enter the username and password of any administrator account in your computer, including your own account. If it is not a Microsoft account, a local account and an administrator account, it should work without any issues. Now let's click on done and here you have to select a storage location. In our case, that is the last one, the shared folder we created. Let's click on it. And the setup is successful now. Here are some other settings if you wanna play with them, like the time interval between uploads. If you want to transfer the video footages instantly to the shared folder, keep it on live. From video length settings, you can also select the amount of video footages you want to keep on the shared folder. At the top, it is currently showing preparing for transmission. 
and when the connection is stable and it is transferring the video files to the shared directory it will show transmission is normal so back into the computer as you can see it has started saving all the video footages all the video files into the shared folder basically it creates a new folder every hour folder names begin with the date inside each folder it has multiple one minute clips and not the entire video into a single file so guys if you want to say anything or if you have any query post it in the comment section below and if you liked the video hit that like button and most importantly if you have not subscribed yet get subscribed it's free we make awesome tech videos check out all the videos in our channel also hit the bell icon to stay notified for the future videos this video might be helpful for others as well so if you think we are doing a great job go ahead and share this video so guys that's it for this video have a great time and i will see you in the next video